green smoothies have been my number one life saver. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all some amazing health benefits of incorporating green smoothies into your diet. I'm also going to be sharing some common mistakes to avoid when making your green smoothie so you can enjoy the maximum health benefits. If this sounds like something you're interested in, please go ahead and grab yourself a cup of green tea or better still, a green smoothie. Let's jump right into the video. Hello, beautiful person watching. Welcome to my channel. If you're seeing me for your first time, hi, my name is Pena. And on this channel, I share delicious recipes and tips for eating and staying healthy. If this is something you're interested in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Healthy with Bena family. You're so welcome. And thank you all to my returning subscribers for your love and support. So on today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all some amazing health benefits of incorporating green smoothies into your diet. I'm also going to be sharing some common mistakes to avoid when making your green smoothie so you can enjoy the maximum health benefits. The first health benefit of incorporating smoothies into your diet, for me, this is my experience personally, is with my skin. I struggled so much with acne in the past and I shared this. At one point, I had to quit dairy for three months and I increased my smoothie intakes. I just increased overall my vegetables, my fruits, and I focused more on whole foods and I saw dramatic results. And since then, I have made smoothies part of my diet. Incorporating smoothies into your diet helps so much with your skin tone. Our skin reflects what is going on inside. If you clean your gut, if you take care of what is going inside you, it is going to reflect in your skin as well. And the second amazing health benefit of incorporating smoothies into my diet, I find has been with my digestion. I struggled so much with digestion in the past. And guys, this stuff right here has helped me so much. Green smoothies help so much with digestion because they are packed with fiber and also water. Fiber helps so much to aid our digestive system. And so the more you incorporate smoothies into your diet, it's going to help your digestive issues. It's going to help solve other issues that are related to gas, bloating, and all that fun and all that stuff. And a clean gut is definitely going to give way to, you know, your system is going to function properly. And that's how you're going to lose weight and be able to maintain your desired weight. The third amazing health benefit of incorporating smoothies into your diet is that smoothies help so much with your energy levels. We all know how sometimes when you have a meal, you feel so tired, you feel so moody, you feel so sleepy. When you incorporate smoothies into your diet, because smoothies are light, they are a meal that is packed with nutrients. It really helps so much with your, with your energy levels. I saw this firsthand when we did the cleanse. Overall, our energy levels were up. We had better sleep, mental clarity. It's just amazing what this can do to your health. Green smoothies are so easy to whip up. If you're somebody that is so busy, this is one of the meals that you should incorporate into your diet because they are so easy to whip up and just grab and go in the mornings, especially. For me personally, I usually prep some bags of smoothies and just throw them into the freezer. And when I'm so busy, that's one of the easiest way that I make sure that I consume my fruits my whole foods in a day so another amazing health benefit of incorporating green smoothies into your diet is that green smoothies help so much to curb cravings especially for sugar we all know there's just something in whole foods in green smoothies that really helps curb your sugar cravings i witnessed this first time when i started consuming more green smoothies I remember one day I asked myself, where is that desire that you have when you want something sweet, you crave something sweet? They help suppress your sugar cravings and they also help curb your appetite. 
so the more green smoothies you incorporate into your diet it's going to help you with those sugar cravings we've talked about the amazing health benefits of incorporating green smoothies into your diet we are now going to move to the second part of this video which is going to be about some common mistakes to avoid when making green smoothies smoothies are considered whole foods because they contain little to no added sugar and they are unprocessed smoothies should contain a balance of carbohydrates protein healthy fats fiber and water the first common mistake you should avoid when making your smoothies is that you should avoid using fruit juices as your base now to be safe for me personally and i think i mentioned this before when i was sharing my smoothie recipe i always go with water if i don't use water to make my smoothie the next thing that i use i use green tea now i know some people do use milk to make smoothie if you are using milk please remember that smoothies are considered whole foods meaning that they shouldn't contain any processed foods so if you want to use milk in your smoothies make sure you're using unsweetened nut milk we are talking about your almond milk maybe your cashew milk hazelnut coconut milk and you name it and make sure that they are unsweetened because we don't want to pack our smoothies with sugars because then it's gonna help slow our metabolism and prevent us from gaining the maximum health benefits the second mistake to avoid when making your smoothies is that you should avoid using too much protein now if you're going to be using protein a protein sauce for me personally i do use my flaxseed i do use my hemp hearts i use chia seeds those both contain protein and fiber and some other amazing nutrients now if you're going to use a protein sauce just make sure that it is plant-based make sure that it is unsweetened it has no sugar added to it because again remember our, pro, our, our green smoothies are whole foods that shouldn't contain any added sugar or processed foods added to it the third tip when making your green smoothies is that you should incorporate healthy fats remember your smoothie should serve as food for example if you're taking your smoothie for breakfast you should make it in such a way that it's going to keep you feeling for a while so that it avoids you from frequently snacking now when you incorporate healthy fats into your smoothies it's going to serve that purpose healthy fats will be like your butters now i use raw almond butter you can also use peanut butter you can use any butter of your choice you can use avocado those those are all sources of good fats that are plant-based just make sure that if you're adding in any of the nut butters that they don't contain any sugar they don't contain any added oils they are just 100 percent the nut butter that you are adding to and the raw is going to be best also you can also use your whole nuts to, to add into your smoothies just avoid using processed nuts because the processed nuts, again, they contain added sugars, they contain added preservatives, they contain added salt, and you don't want that to, you don't want that added into your smoothies because then they're gonna prevent your body from really absorbing the nutrients and give you the maximum health benefits. And you can soak them, make sure that if you're using whole nuts, you soak them before blending them and adding into your smoothie. The next tip when making your smoothie is you need to be aware of the amount of fruit that you are adding into your smoothies. Now, I know that because just because fruit contain a lot of sugar, especially if you're someone that's diabetic, if you are if you're taking smoothies for weight loss purposes, you want to be mindful of the amount of sugar that you add in your smoothies because the sugars even though they are natural, they can add up Another tip when making your smoothie is that you can try adding your favorite spices. 
Now, when it comes to adding spices into your smoothies, you want to make sure that this is a spice that you love the flavor and also that the spice, some spices have anti-inflammatory properties. For example, ginger. That's one of my favorite spices that I sometimes throw in into my smoothies. Ginger also helps me so much with my digestion. And sometimes I even throw ginger slices into my water. Some people add cinnamon. Cinnamon also helps to regulate blood sugar. If you love the flavor of cinnamon as well, you can add it into your smoothies. Just make sure that whatever you're adding into your smoothies, especially when it comes to spices, you are comfortable with the taste, the flavor that it adds to your smoothie. Otherwise, it's going to make you not drink your smoothie and enjoy it. Another tip when it comes to making your green smoothies, you, you, wanna, you want to incorporate variety into your smoothies. When I talk about variety, I mean a variety of fruits and vegetables. Now, I don't mean that on one serving of smoothie, you're going to be putting in a whole host of fruits and vegetables. I just mean, for example, if you're planning ahead of time, if you're shopping, go, if you're going grocery shopping for smoothies for the entire week, for example, try as much as possible to incorporate incorporate a variety of fruits and vegetables sometimes some i've heard some people share with me that they struggle with kale now if you try out some vegetables and they just don't work with you maybe they hurt your stomach or you don't like the flavor at all there's no need to keep eating it because remember it is not only about the healthy plate you also have to enjoy it as well so if your body doesn't agree with kale for example go easy on the kale most importantly start slowly with the vegetables and work your way up when it comes to smoothies another great tip when making your smoothie is that you need to put more leafy greens as opposed to the fruit you want to make sure that you put more greens opposed to the fruit but you have to start working your way from down up slowly you cannot you can't just start at once and just start packing greens because then maybe the flavor of it is going to scare you away you want to start slowly but eventually make sure that the ratio of your vegetable your vegetables to your fruit is usually more leafy greens as opposed to the fruit that you put in your smoothies when it comes to making your, your green smoothies we cannot underestimate the importance of having a good blender. Now, if your smoothie is not properly blended, trust me, especially if you're starting to incorporate smoothies into your diet, you need to have a good blender or you need to take your time and blend your smoothie properly. Usually about three minutes to let your blender run, it's going to help you because the more creamier your smoothie is, the more you are going to enjoy it. So make sure that you get yourself a good blender because a chunky smoothie is such a bad experience. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that as we head into the new year, you're going to make smoothies part of your diet. I promise you're going to see amazing benefits that incorporating smoothies into your diet is going to bring to your health. Make sure that you stay consistent in anything that you do because you can't start a smoothie today for one or two days and then you drop it you start again next month make sure that you're consistent make sure that you're committed to the process you're going to see all the benefits that i just mentioned to you before thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it please do not forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so what are you waiting for Join the Healthy with Bena family. You are so welcome. We have lots of room. Thank you for watching. And until I come your way next time with something healthy, please continue to drink lots of water. Stay hydrated. Remember, drink your green tea. Drink your smoothie. Be well. Be safe. Happy New Year to everyone. Bye.